everyone, it's Savannah. Welcome back to my day old tea. Today it is time for another Discord design review for Disney Dreamlight Valley. These have become one of my very favorite videos to film from my channel because you guys always provide me with some amazing new ideas and inspiration for this game. And I'm so excited to see what y'all have submitted now. Let's get into it. Okay, our first design is submitted by Kayla Ariel. My Beach, let's check it out. Okay, wow, so we have a cool little seafood dining area on the side here. I love these little tiki stools. And you made some custom umbrellas and the little blankets out on the beach. Those look so cute. Love the color scheme. I need to play around with customizing a few of my own items like that. Love Stitch's house on Skull Rock. Looks so cute. We've got a little fishing area here on the beach. That is perfect. Love the fairy tale gazebo. This item is top tier. One of my favorites. Wow, look at your boardwalk. We've got it going all the way up into the meadow. That looks so pretty. Connecting over to the forest as well. What a great beach. I, I'm obsessed with this build. All right, next up we have submitted by Lily to start my villain layer glade of trust i know this is gonna be fantastic let's take a closer look i need these partitions look how cool they look okay so we are going i think we're looking from the peaceful meadow into the glade of trust this is so cool. Oh my gosh, Scar's house looks so good down here. I wouldn't have expected that. This is so cool. I love to see this area being turned into like a spooky villain layer. I call my Glade of Trust the Bad Girls Club and I feel like this is your own little villain layer over here. These pillars look sick with this little reading nook. Where is this? Is this in front of Mother Gothel's house? I need, wow, this is so pretty. I love it. Wow, love all the greenery. It looks so good. The vines are perfect. Amazing, love to see it. Okay, we have submitted by CH Teacher, my beach campsite design. Let's check it out. We've got Mirabelle on the side. Oh, you put Buzz's house on the beach. That looks so cute as a little like camper van set up on the beach. He's doing his laundry. You put Moana's, is this Moana's boat over here or are those little items? Looks so good, excellent job. Also submitted by CH Teacher, we have a preschool, oh my God. Gosh, that's such a cute idea with the little forts, the little alien toys. You have little activities to do for the kids. This is such an amazing build idea. I really like it. Okay, submitted by Neil, we have my cottage house. Whoa, this is such a pretty interior. I love all the colors of the tangled items working together. This light fixture up here is stunning. I love how you arranged everything. It's just so thoughtful and well placed. This little study nook is where I would be hanging out doing some crafts. I love it. What a great job. And you mixed up the wallpaper and did a little accent wall. That is always so fun. Okay, submitted next from Lily, we have custom tangle theme picnic blanket I made. Oh my goodness, stop it right now. It is so cute. This is so pretty, Lily. I love this. All of the Tangled items, the color palette for Tangled stuff just makes me really happy, I think. It's like a sunset kind of theme. This is such a pretty little picnic area. I need to experiment more with making some custom stuff. That's what I'm realizing from today's video. You guys are making everything look so good. Even like, look at these little, like this plate of cookies. I need to start putting plates of cookies out. That looks so cute on the picnic blanket here. Fantastic job as usual. Here we're getting into some dream snap submissions. This is Neil's submission for the Earth in Air week. Let's take a closer look. This is the Glade of Trust. This is really whimsical and a little bit spooky over here. I love all the trees you mix together. This is a really nice submission. Love the illumination with everything glowing in the background and also your little fox companion. What a lovely design, very well done. 
submitted from CH Teacher. We have a little painting area here. Looks like Vanellope is enjoying this. And this is in Sunlit Plateau. Mirabelle's house looks so pretty over here. I love what you've done. And this little popsicle um, item is actually something you can cook. And I think it looks really cute next to this picnic blanket you have set up here. Here we have another painting area. <laughs> Let's check it out. We've got Stitch hanging out with you over here in the Forest of Valor. This easel is just such a pretty item and I'm glad to see that you're really enjoying making some fantastic builds with it. Very nicely done. CH teacher has also submitted week four. I can't remember which week that was. I'm guessing maybe it was the, the water and the fire. This is looking very nice. Great interior. It's very cozy. I love these little hanging antlers with the lights up here. It's it's very, it's very cool. Very kind of old timey in here. Okay, submitted from Kayla Ariel. We have princess dressing room. This is something I've been wanting to do. This is a build I have planned for my castle interior. Let's see what Kayla has done. This is so pretty. Yeah, this is something I had similarly planned is basically making like a dressing room with little like fabric areas, little sewing stations, and having all the mannequins spread throughout the room with a bunch of the princess gowns. And this is such a pretty build. I can't wait to get started on mine. You made it look so nice and I could definitely see myself wanting to spend a lot of time in here. What a pretty job. I love the shocked face. Everybody is reacting to it. That is fantastic and so fitting. The final design we're going to be taking a look at comes from our friend CH Teacher, and this is their submission for the Rainbow Dream Snaps Week. I love that you put all of these inside out partitions on the back wall. That is a great way to get a bunch of rainbow colors into your build and your outfit is just so fun and colorful. It definitely suits the theme. Fantastic job. Those are all the designs submitted for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to submit their design ideas. These videos wouldn't be possible without you. If you're interested in getting in on the fun, definitely check the description box to join the Discord group and start posting your photos and videos. I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.